press volume up button and power button in order to boot into a recovery if you have advanced restart button you can boot that using that option go to wipe section here and select advanced wipe and select is dalvi cart cache package cache and cache and metadata and data swipe here to wipe it once that has been done go to home section here and select install and select the micro sd card wherever you downloaded the rom zip file firmware those things you need to select i mean first for this particular rom i am going to flash this vendor surya global 13.0.1 flash it instead of firmware i am flashing here vendor keep in note then now again go to home section and select here install and go to roms here nitrogen os 13 this is the only official rom available for poco x as of now as you can see i will get little bit closure here you can see saturday january 7th latest build available for poco x slash nfc it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed you can see the rom zip file has been flashed successfully i can go to home here and select wipe and select format data and type here yes and press this tick button then now i can go to home and select reboot and select the system hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is sampath you watching sampath samfx youtube channel and this is poco x3 custom rom reviews this is android version 13 you can see nitrogen was this is latest available for poco x slash nfc you can see security patch is january 5 2023 which is latest kernel user is 4.14.180 nitrogen kernel has been used january 7th is the build date here latest available build for poco x slash nfc and i have been running the cp throttling test from last 5 minutes and 7 seconds you can see the maximum is 185 and minimum is 141 and average is 178 this is a 100 thread test case and <laughs> have noticed this maximum and average and minimum those are fine here and it's 94 percent of its max performance here which is good in my opinion you can see the graph also it's just a app review in day to day performs i haven't faced even that six percentage of throttling also it's that's good and you can see this is the quick settings panel and you get just this home screen no minus one screen here as you can see even no other screen if you drag and add the apps it will be then in the next panel and this is the app drawer with limited apps you can add here and here you can see the quick settings panel and into the edit section you get these kind of options there is no sync option and this is the only av official build available with android 13 for poco x slash nfc you know there is no pixel experience build for this device pixel experience android 13 official build is not available i can say this nitrogen os will uh, replace that uh, actually because it is very simple the nitrogen os you can see here simple ui even the auto brightness toggle is not given here it should be there but anyhow it is app active status you can check here and settings and power button has been moved down that's quite similar here that's how it is and if i move back into settings here you get a simple customization nothing more here is simple and clean ui available and you get updates also for this particular app as you can see here default apps you can change from here it's a quick step launcher has been pre installed here and moving into some notifications again here you get all the features which are going to work fine no problem and battery life is also very good as you can see from last 42 minutes i am using it i just tested and i installed this particular apps and testing them and it dropped currently like around some 8 to 7 to 8 percentage was the loss which is good day to day usage task going to handle fine with this particular rom you will might get around 10 hours of screen on time with brightness set to like 40 to 60 percent then it will be achievable that's how it is and turn off and charge you can turn on or turn off from here extreme battery saver is not given here it is simple here even simple than pixel experience it resembles some of the like options like this home screen if you look out it resembles like 
say error but also it resembles like errors it's a mixture of some of the verses but i can say it's a simple and clean ui available for poco x slash nfc if i go into sound and vibration again here also very simple if you want to enable the vibration haptic feedback just enable or disable some of the vibration and haptics options from here and charging vibration also you can turn on turn off from here nothing more here you won't get any uh, direct sound settings that's if you are looking for that kind of options you can flash this rom if you use magix model to root your smartphone you can do that and you can install manually whatever you need like dolby atmos support the moto dolby audio whatever you need you need to flash separately from here again sound and vibration already explained and moving into this display settings you can see adaptive brightness toggle is present here it should be present at least in the upcoming build if they can hear they can add that that would be better in my opinion and again good thing is even though it is a simple and what i spoken about these things still they have given this pure black condition as you can see now it is in pitch black condition that i really like it very simple things they are looking for user oriented things those are present here and again display size and text it revert back to accessibility settings night light feature is also given if you turn on and you can increase or decrease the intensity and even you can schedule that even the dark mode also you can schedule that colors only four options here and at a rotated screen you can enable or disable from here screen saver options are given here just utilize them and even you can customize them even you can select natural i mean analog and digital and night mode also you can enable from here preview you can see how it looks as you can see that's how it looks which is cool in my opinion if i keep it to colors it looks like this preview again photo table preview if you have any photos selected that will be visible here if you want you can disable that if you want very good back left then you can disable it screen saver option tap to wake is given tap to uh, sleep is not given here and wallpaper and style again changes the wallpaper so you won't get any installed wallpaper set that also a good thing if someone wants clean and clean and at that in rom you can flash this and you can install any third party wallpaper application and basic wall colors are been given the combination of colors are also given here wallpaper colors as you can see print of options has been given based on wallpaper you get number of customization of this uh, colors ascent colors dark theme again here also there app grid you get only 3 into 3 4 into 4 and 5 into 5 which is simple again and if you want to use accessibility menu as i always spoken about this you can see you can use volume and even the brightness manual accessibility settings power off power on from here you can even check out the recent apps from here it's a handy feature which was present from android 11 and it will improve a lot now in android 10 is even convenient you should definitely use it this without using the physical buttons you can operate them and select speak to shortcuts you can add them read in background read text on images also you can experimental that help and feedback is given text to speech settings you can increase or decrease the speech rate and even pitch also you can play language also you can select here multiple languages available whichever languages available in google translate those are available here these are quite interesting options even switch access is given into the settings you get again camera switch settings use camera switches and even if you want you can use open mouse smile raise eyebrows look left right look up those kind of options has been given use switch access it's a handy feature if you have like control your android device it is difficult to directly interact with the touch screen then you can use this kind of options which is going to be cool enough to enhance your smartphone this are lot present in every and i mean ios prompts and again talkback feature is also given here display size and text you can increase or decrease even if you want bold text and high contrast text you can enable or disable from here color and motion again dark theme from here and even you can remove the animations from here extra dim feature is given magnification is given and these are the other options audio description and audio adjustment if you want uh, upper speaker to be more you can drag here the right downwards means you can drag it to right now moving into other settings like text to speech output and accessibility shortcuts this are general here and moving into the security feature you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock if i go and check out here there's no app lock here that's what simply 
city of this particular ROM, encryption ROM this is, but obviously we can decrypt it uh, while flashing the ROM and this is how it is and let me show you that fingerprint and face unlock as you can see fingerprint unlock is quite a fast here it's not as fast as what i said in shared android and a 12 video you can check out here video you need to definitely watch that video and uh, moving into face unlock let me recognize okay it is facing difficulty to recognize my face okay now it's got unlock double tap to wake or sleep both are available and face unlock you can see here which is working fine in my opinion it took some more time add multiple fingerprint uh, patterns and even the face patterns i mean models then it will be even faster in my opinion now moving into other settings like uh, privacy those all the things the camera access microphone access you can enable or disable from here location which is working fine the google maps are also working fine i installed it even the safety net status let me check out that you can see it will get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay you know sba whatever you need to want you can use that whatsapp is also going to work fine here you get pre-installed web view browser here it is not going to work uh, whatsoever i don't know how to use that but if you want you can disable yeah disable that that's it and use the chrome browser what we regularly use or if you want to use any other browser you can do that those things you can do with this particular rom i know you understood what you need to get from this rom you get basic performance and basic battery life from this rom everything you need to install based upon your liking it gave your choice to uh, customize yourself and use it as a daily driver and it is very simple and it is an official rom that's one great thing from this particular rom and i have installed this gcam port this is an arno build gcam you can see here this is the one gcam port i always recommend for poco x slash nfc even it is a karna or surya my variant is always a indian variant 6 gb 128 people ask for me about this in comment section guys i am from india and this is my indian variant poco x3 it's not nfc but i use nfc word because the people should not get confused with x3 pro and this x3 i have both the devices but i haven't made any uh, uh, marking or any label or any tag about poco x3 pro in my poco x3 because the people should not get confused and flash this rom or view this video no need to view this video when the user is poco x3 pro user if he is a poco x3 user you should watch the video that's my intention hence i am using nfc word apart from that there is no intention to add that it's applicable for both the devices surya and karna but not the x3 pro i hope i cleared that doubt people always ask about that uh, you need to watch this video i'll give this video in description of every video such so that people will not get any doubt about which variant of smartphone is mine's and that happened here and the gig pen scores the benchmark results i want to show you that and if you try to uh, run more and more you might get better scores here single score 549 and multi score 1588 and kernel as i said before linux 4.1 4.10 nitrogen kernel has been used which is good in my opinion the android benchmark remains the same here it is quite a similar 3 lakh 50 60 64507 here and temperature raise was just 0.5 degrees celsius and two percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing that's good thing in my opinion this is nitrogen OS guys you get file manager here and even gallery application has been pre-installed and if you go into settings you get these kind of options here and everything is working fine i haven't faced any issues the basic things like the pill length should be i will show you into the settings that's the one thing i always forget to show you and here if you go into gestures you get one handed mode here three finger screenshot has been mentioned but it hasn't added here and into system navigation gesture navigation there is an option to increase the pill length and it is but it's still fine but it could be better if they can add in the upcoming build at least they can make it little bit larger than what it is right currently that's how it is guys this is the uh, nitrogen was based on android 13 with january 5th security patch and by the way let's see how it handles in pubg new state for some reason guys the games getting 
force close i want to show you as you can see now it's got opened as you can see it got closed that i don't know even usb debugging is also turned off here in my this particular that i don't know even the usb debugging is also turned off in this particular rom but still i am facing that let me show you this 33 watt charging support the pubg mobile you can play it out even the bgm also but new state is not getting played here oh it's quite a fast the face unlock again it turned off let me cover the camera and 33 watt fast charging support is available here as you can see it will show you as you can see charging rapidly this how the nitrogen os based on january 5th security patch and january 7th build date latest available for pogo xs less nfc gaming could have been better with pubg mobile or bgm but new state is not working some of them were requested to show the new state gameplay preview but it is not happening hope so and internet connectivity is fine and let me show you the dialer also you get to this kind of dialer here and direct video call feature is available quite obvious here and call recording feature is also available but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call this is how the review if you like the video give it a like guys and if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button and also allow the bell notification while whenever i upload a new video you will get notified that's all guys we'll meet you with another interesting video hope so this is the only official build for poco x3 uh, the pixel experience official build might get launched i don't know fingers crossed that's how it is we'll meet with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now